What up guys, welcome to another video. Today we have Yusuf from Insight Junkie and he's created an animated book summary on the six pillars of self-esteem by Nathaniel Brandon. So self-esteem, big problem. Big problem for a lot of people, especially my age. So I do hope this helps you guys and I hope you enjoy the video. I'm currently taking video submissions. So if you're an animator and you've got a message to share with the world, just send me a message and a link to the video by sending it to Brandon at 1percentbookclub.com In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build your self-esteem. We live in a world where everyone has been told that they're special, when in fact this is not true in the way that we've been told. It's true that everyone is unique, but not everyone can go on to become world famous. No matter how special you are, you cannot become a pro basketball player if you don't have the physical disposition for it. Now the reason modern society has started to tell us that we're special is because they think that this will raise our self-esteem, that this will counteract the effect of bullying and decrease suicidal tendencies. However, that's not true. A common thing being done in schools nowadays is giving out participation certificates to make everyone feel equal. While the common sense group thing would say that this will increase increase everyone's self-esteem, that's not actually what's happening. If you don't work hard and you still get a participation certificate, you know it in your heart that you don't deserve it. So you feel like an imposter and your self-esteem actually decreases. More than that, treating everyone like a winner undermines the first, second and third place that we've been using since time immemorial. So what you really end up with is children who don't really have any self-esteem and who also don't really want to work hard. This video is my attempt at fixing some of the misconceptions about raising your self-esteem. Most of the ideas that I'm going to present in this video come from Nathaniel Brandon's The Six Pillars of Self-Esteem, who defines self-esteem as the ability to trust one's mind and to know that one is worthy of happiness. Pillar number one, live consciously. To me, this is the most fundamental pillar of self-esteem and this is the one that has made the most difference in my life personally. In our society, most people are awake but they are not truly conscious. We go through the motions every day, wake up, go to work, come back, have the same arguments, watch TV and go to sleep. Even if your daily itinerary looks more productive than this, chances are you're probably still going through most of your life on autopilot. What blows my mind is that a lot of times we don't even know why we do the things that that we do. You might get into a heated argument with your roommate about the dishes, but if I were to ask you later about why you were fighting, you could give me a completely different reason like he never listens to me. The root cause of this problem is that we are simply not aware of who we are. In order to raise your self-esteem, you have to pay attention to yourself. What I highly recommend is that you start keeping a journal. Every morning write down three things you're grateful for and three things that you want to change about yourself and then write down whatever thought comes to your mind and your plan for the day. If you keep this up for long enough, eventually you're going to start seeing patterns in your behavior and you're going to automatically start living more consciously. Now you will start to get a general idea of why your self-esteem isn't where you want it to be. Maybe you don't have a great relationship with your parents, so talk to them about it. Maybe you feel lazy all day so you should start exercising more. Once you're more conscious about what it is, you need to take action and fix it. Pillar number two, self-acceptance. While self-esteem is a general feeling that you have the entire day, self-acceptance is a conscious practice. Self-acceptance is one of the most important aspects of having a healthy level of self-esteem. And more broadly, it is a prerequisite for self-improvement. If you're trying to go from one city to another, but you don't know which city you're in, then any map in the world is going to be completely useless to you. Similarly, if you don't accept who you are and what your desires and needs actually are, no amount of self-help books and YouTube videos are ever going to help you. If you're a little weird and eccentric, accept it. Accept those feelings no matter how bad they may seem. Don't be judgmental towards yourself. Now, self-acceptance doesn't mean that you're okay with your problems. It means that you're acknowledging that they're there. It's like acknowledging the symptoms so that you can cure the disease. So to increase your self-esteem, become more self-accepting. Pillar number three, self-responsibility. If you always play the victim and keep crying about your circumstances, you're going to have lower self-esteem. People who have a high self-esteem accept the fact that their life is their own responsibility. 
no one's going to swoop in and save you. If you want to become rich, then buying lottery tickets is not the way to accept self-responsibility. You have to read books, find mentors and try new things. Own everything that goes wrong in your life. Now I'm not saying that everything bad that happens is actually your fault. The only reason you should own up to everything is because that is simply the most resourceful state of mind to be in. If you get bad grades in a test and you just blame it on your professor for not instructing you properly, you've just given up all self-responsibility and by doing that, you've lost your ability to change the outcome. Now you just may have an incompetent professor, but if you accept personal responsibility for getting bad grades, then you're more likely to study harder and get better grades the next time. Self-responsibility isn't blaming yourself, it's putting yourself in a position to succeed. Pillar number 4. Self-assertiveness How many times has it happened that someone said something rude to you and it ruined the rest of your day? This used to happen to me all the time and that was because I was not self-assertive. I did not assert who I was to the world or even to myself. Sometimes I would even start second-guessing myself if someone made a sly comment with bad intentions. This is something that you absolutely want to get rid of if you want to raise your self-esteem. Now, self-assertiveness isn't becoming arrogant and bullying everyone into accepting your opinion. Of course, you're going to have to do this tactfully. But all this means is that you don't simply take everyone else's word for something and you recognize that you're a perfectly capable human being whose needs and wants have to be honored. For example, if all your friends are forcing you to drink alcohol and that's not something that you want to do, then that's where you have to be more self-assertive and say no no matter what. Being more self-assertive and sure of yourself will do wonders to your self-esteem. Pillar number 5. Live purposefully Now I can personally guarantee that if you get this part right, this pillar will have the most impact on your life. Even more than the first one. I'll give you an example. Ever since I started this YouTube channel, my life has a purpose and that is to share ideas to help you improve your life. Even though this channel isn't huge and my ideas don't reach everyone, I still feel like I'm doing my part to fulfill my life's purpose. And trust me, when you feel like this, your self-esteem will skyrocket. When you've found your purpose and you work hard to realize it, then your life will always remain in perspective no matter what happens. Now how you can actually find your purpose is a topic for another video, but for now you can choose your purpose to be something relatively small. It could be as simple as I'm going to take care of my body more and exercising more often. It doesn't matter if your purpose is big or small. As long as you have one, you will be well on your way to raising your self-esteem. Pillar number 6. Personal Integrity This is the pillar that a lot of us are likely to gloss over because we may not see the importance right away. But if you're not true to who you are and your actions don't reflect that, then your self-esteem is going to take a toll. If your personal value is not making a lot of money, but if you take a high stress and high paying job, then you're not going to be happy. This is why a lot of people face a midlife crisis because what they're doing doesn't necessarily align with what their values are. Always stay true to yourself. Be honest, be kind and be humble. It's going to be hard at first and I know that there will be a lot of temptation to just give in and sacrifice your values for short term gain. But believe me, no amount of money or material possessions are going to compare to the increase in self-esteem you get if you stay true to who you are. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please click the like button. If you want to watch similar videos, please subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.